Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Sabrina. And really, really, take a walk with me through this Twitter thread. I hate Twitter. I really do. I'm not a fan of any social media. I'm on it because I'm on Facebook because my family's there, right? I'm on Twitter because politicians and elected officials are there. I'm on YouTube because you're here. Ding. So, so, you know, I do actually try to stay away and live life and be out in the world a lot. That's why I'll probably be doing more videos like the one that I did, um, when I try was trying to talk to God, right? But every once in a while, I go down a rabbit hole and, oh my God, this is the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen. I've, okay. This is the most ridiculous shit I've seen today. <laughs> Guys, one time I wore this outfit when I came in. My parents were eating downstairs and I guess my stepdad was looking at me in a way and I just went upstairs. Tell me why my mom came up mad at me and said, you don't need to wear that around my man. What the fuck? LMAO. Now, this is the fit. And yeah, generally it's not that bad. Um, She probably wasn't wearing a bra that day. I don't know. But I want you to pay attention to where her to what she said. I guess my stepdad was like so. Thusly, this is she didn't catch him leering at her at all. He was like he probably was just I'm like girl, go and put some fucking clothes on. <laughs> That's probably what he was like. And the mom started feeling some kind of way. But let's get let's get into it. And ever since then, I can't wear half my clothes anymore because he might look at me. But that's the thing. You guessed there was no confirmation of this. You know, your mom just wants you to dress a bit more conservatively, apparently. And no, that's too much for her. I don't have no type of money to be able to move out. I would if I could, guys, nor do I have any close friends. My mom jerk as jerk AF and my stepdad a bitch. But there's no shit for me to do but mind my own business. I love how you guys are offering me a room, but all y'all MFers live in a different state. Tears, tears, tears. Some of you guys suggest I should make a GoFundMe, and I did. If I did ask, get the amount, I'm out this place. Where are you? Oh, my God. Yo. It's a scam. It's a scheme and a scam. I really feel that way. I mean, you know what? Let's let's check out Sunny right quick. Let's check out Sabrina's uh, media. GIF. Okay, you got that photo. Apparently, that's her. And she definitely catches the 35%, but... Oh, was that? I need some money. So I can't help but feel she like there's something that strikes me as very uh, suspicious. Is this the only there's only five photos and videos? And it's just out here. Um, It's just basically her begging. For real. And here comes the replies in the comments. The fact that she's not worried about your safetyness around a man who looks at you like that. Slap her for me, please. Um, She said she guessed, right? Like the, the story was that she guesses he looked at her because she didn't catch him looking at her that way. Girl, I'm sorry, sad face. Not even a mother yet. But if any adult dares look at my child inappropriately, they're in shit so deep they're eating it. He'd be out of my house before he blinks. Okay, how do you how do you even know that's not his house? Honestly, how you know this story real? <laughs> I'll never understand how some people will put someone else's child before their child. I know when I have kids, they're always going to be my priority. Wow, there's so much soy dripping in that um comment. This is honestly not only inappropriate, but scary. The fact that she can ignore red flags while her kid's safety could be at stake is awful. I hope you can set, you can one day figure out a way to be in a safer environment. Until then, I'm sending you all the positive vibes, girl. Stay strong. Heart. <laughs> Do you see this shit? Like she didn't say he she caught him leering at her. She did not. I guess my stepdad felt some kind of way was looking at me some kind of way. And my step. So she has no confirmation on this. Her mom is just like, yo, dress more conservatively, even though eh, technically in 2019 standards, that's ridiculously conservative. But let's be real. It's not like I mean, she's also in ten apparently in Tennessee. I'm sorry. Your stepdad is the problem. You should be you should feel comfortable in your own home. Sounds like the mom is the problem. 
the F she doing with a man that's looking at her daughter in a sexual manner and then come after her daughter after he looked at her. He's the problem. I agree. But the mother is a bigger problem in my eyes. Uh, not sure if it's a healthy household you're in, especially if your mom is not noticing red flags here that he's looking at you in a certain inappropriate way, but somehow cares more about being jealous like you two are the same age and not related. LOL. 1000% not in a healthy household. No question about it. And it's mostly just this is why like maybe we should just take Internet, the Internet for away from women. It's, there is no critical thinking going on here at all. <laughs> Not a single ounce of critical um, thinking. Oh my goodness. Drop your mom. Elbow that bit. I got an open room, sis. Hope you're safe in your household. And honestly, this really like the, the more I'm coming across this. First off, he needs to stop staring at how he does. He didn't. I, I don't want to say he didn't, but she said, I guess. People do not read and her mama need to not be not defend him for doing what he do for doing it. What he do hand your mama this and tell her I sent it. <laughs> Drop your whole fam. Where can I donate? She definitely hit him with the PayPal. Well, uh, I think that's the cash app. Uh, just stay strapped if he tries anything in that man's. Yeah, you, can, you do not go to the Internet for advice. <laughs> The internet, there is no critical thinking. The internet does not have critical thinking. I think that's the title of this video. Nah, I have to make it something a little bit more salacious so people can, um, so people will actually, you know, watch it. Girl, it's cute. Your mom and stepdad are mad. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, just some black chick ask, or dude, I'm not sure. Like, cause it's just weave and that's a very masculine face asking her about where she get the, where she got the fit from. What's your mom's at? Oh my God. Oh my God. And I'm drawing, we're just taking it all the way back up here to, and I guess my stepdad was looking at me in a way. Oh my goodness. Stop. Stop that nonsense. Seriously, stop. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, oh, you should not take advice from the Internet and you should not believe everything you see on the Internet. There was not an ounce of critical thinking in that entire thread. And she's sitting here with over thirty four thousand likes and five over uh, five thousand retweets. And it's just amazing to me that of all the all that we just read. No one sat there and said, wait, you guess no one raised a hand and said, wait, you guess <laughs> like, come on, man, come on. But Miss uh, Sabrina, you are not unattractive. I will give you that. You are a very attractive young lady. Definitely catch the 35 percent. But even with the 35 percent, this story feels like it, this is a story full of holes. But when you have the um, education system that we have here in America, we just don't teach critical thinking that much. So, yeah. It's a good grift if you can get it, man. I mean, I ain't knocking the hustle. I never knock the hustle. But I dare a guy to try this shit. By all means, my... Hey, man. My stepmoms was looking at me all, uh, you know, like she was... I guess. I guess. Gotta toss in the guess. I guess my stepmom was looking at me, you know, sexually like. And my stepdad came in. He was like, hey, boy, put your meat away. And I was like, oh, man. And now I need to move someplace. So give me some money. And I, I don't see him getting the same type of support that Miss Sabrina's gotten here. So, you know, that's <laughs> hilarious. Oh, man. So with that being said, we're going to bring this video to an end. All the Internet stuff. Like it if you liked it. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice. Share because sharing is caring. And let me know what you think in the comments. Is this is is this as questionable of a story? Does this story have a ton of holes in it to you as it does to me? By all means, let me know. And until the next video.